We've got Warner Brothers Nashville recording artist Ray Lynn with us. Hello, Ray Lynn. How are you? I'm good. I'm just hanging out with my family in Missouri. Oh, look at you taking time to call us while you're with family. Where are you at in Missouri? Well, my, um, I have a sister-in-law that lives in Springfield, but I'm playing tonight in Branson. Guess what, Raylin? I lived in Springfield for two years. <laughs> really? That's amazing. My um, sister-in-law and my brother-in-law, my brother-in-law owns the Chick-fil-A in the mall in Springfield. Nice. See, we're practically family already, little Zoom. Oh, my goodness look. gracious. <laughs> So you're going to be here tomorrow. So you're spending a little of your Memorial Day weekend with us, which is really cool because your husband is in the Army, right? Yes, he's um, he is in the Army. He's been serving for, I think he left for training a year, a little over a year ago. Was that hard for you when he's away? Oh, my gosh. Are you kidding me? It totally is. It's <clears throat> it's hard not being able to talk to your best friend every day. And um, I never quite understood why. People would always think the spouse is for their service, but I understand now because it's hard being away from the person you love, and and it's a it's a sacrifice for anybody involved. And I'm just I'm honored to you know be able to be his wife and to watch him live out his dream. But it, there's so many days where I'm just like, oh my gosh, I just miss you. <laughs> We're talking to Ray Lynn. She's going to be at Young at Heart Festival. It's going to be a great time. Um, Lil Zim has a question for you, Ray Lynn, that we have to ask everybody that joins us on the show. Okay. What's in the cup on stage, Ray Lynn? Granted, you have some kind of liquid in a cup. What's in it? Okay, mine's so boring. Like, it's comical how boring it is. <laughs> I have type 1 diabetes, so I always have orange juice in my cup. So it's so funny. Like, one time my sugar went low. It was low. And I, like, grabbed my cup, and I drank it, like, really fast. And they were like, yeah! And I was like, oh, if they only knew, I'm not, like, having a shot or something. Yeah, they thought you had a big screwdriver or something in there. <laughs> they thought that I was just down and something. They didn't know what it was. Raylan, you're no stranger to The Voice. Were you surprised that Kelly Clarkson beat out Blake this year? He needed some. He needed a woman to beat him out. He's been winning so much, and I love Kelly. Kelly is just a doll. Mm-hmm. So I'm just... I'm just kidding. I mean, of course, I was on Blake to win, but he's won a lot, so I think he should pass the baton over a little, a little bit. Blake, it's time to throw the towel in for the voice for a little bit. No, no. It was time for a woman to win. It was even better <laughs> that it was Kelly Clarkson that beat him. But this is the thing: we can't get mad at when Blake wins because it's not Blake that won; it's the artist that won. That's it. true. So, obviously, he's a great doer of knowing what his talent is, and like he's really great at knowing great voices. And you can't get mad at him for winning each time because. He just is really good at picking out really great talent. So the show is on Saturday night at Young at Heart. What are we going to see from you, Ray Lynn? Well, it's going to be awesome. I'm added some new stuff to the set, and I love getting to do uh, a longer set because I get to showcase a lot of new music that I'm working on and some, of course, stuff for my record as well. But it's going to be a great time. We're going to have a blast. Do you have any way of keeping cool on stage? Because it is going to be hot tomorrow night. I just got to warn you about that. (laughs) Um, thank you for warning me. Uh, just come out there in a swimsuit. I'm just kidding. Um, that would be comical. <laughs> tell, Make it happen. <laughs> tell us about Queens Don't. Queens Don't is such an incredible song for right now because I believe that a true queen is somebody who who loves people and they don't judge people and they just truly bring out the best in someone and they stick up for who they are. And I wrote this song as kind of a love letter to myself and and the woman that I always want to be and aspire to be. And, um, and, you know, I think about my mom, like my mom was a single mom with five kids and like, but she was a super mom, you know, and she did it all by herself. And I watched her, you know, take on job opportunity after job opportunity. And she literally had no formal education, started from the, at the bottom of the food chain and got made all the way to the top of the business, this business and was a, vice president of this business within two years and it was all because of her persistence and her love for people and just like the fact that she was a good person and she put out good energy everywhere she went and I think that that's something that we could all take in is if we can't control our circumstances we can't control how we treat people and how we act and I think that's something that we should all remember absolutely Raylan, thank you so much for taking some time with us today, and uh, we can't wait to see you at Young Heart Festival. Thank you. Thank you all for talking to me.